Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to part 2 of the uh, content new Keemstar by H3H3. It's a video that was uploaded just today, so... To her etical, the medical examiner's office says the 29-year-old drowned in the East River by suicide. Etika, whose real name is Desmond Amofa, was found Monday near the South Street Seaport. The NYPD says some of his things were located along the Manhattan Bridge two days earlier. Fans became worried about the YouTuber last week when he posted an eight-minute video saying, It's been a nice life. mind like the third time Etika is a youtuber that unfortunately took his own life it shook a lot of us to the core and, and caused a lot of introspection in the YouTube community I believe he suffered from bipolar disorder and he was known for going through extreme manic states and making a spectacle on YouTube and Keemstar of course was very quick to capitalize on these spectacles. He started tweeting out crazy things yesterday. Once again, for the final time, I am God. And so are you. Oh. My. God. Wait, I'm God. I'm God. He's God. When you're bipolar and you're in a manic state, you have to understand that you can become very detached from reality. And what this person needs is, is certainly professional help and tenderness and not being fed into their mania. You can see, for example, just how worried about him Keemstar is. Attica has lost his mind! Attica has lost his mind! I mean, don't be so excited about it, dude. It's kind of a bummer. I doubt that him and his fans and his family are feeling that happy about it. At one point, he was arrested by the police and Keemstar noted that he couldn't help but laugh at it. Somebody, and we don't know who, called the police on him. The police showed up to his apartment, and this is the video he posted on Twitter. Roll it. Yeah, I think somebody's trying to hurt me. I don't know. It's people online. People online are trying to hurt me. Online? Online. People online. Don't let them hurt me, okay? Because they keep calling the cops on me. The people online that are calling, they hate me for some reason. I don't know why they hate me, though. All I do, I make porno though. I make porn. I make a lot of porn. So I, I'm really rich. I have a lot of money. I make a lot of porn. So that's probably why. <laughs> it's like impossible not to laugh at that. During the previous manic episode, Keemstar had tweeted out the address, the location of the mental hospital he was being stayed at. You're in a manic state. The last thing you need is being fed more energy and excitement and mania. I mean, doxing someone is bad enough, but a dude in a manic state having a breakdown to dox his mental institute is just dumb. I found myself staring at this tweet in complete disbelief. The day before Keemstar doxed his mental hospital, he tweeted out, Etika fans are tweeting at me saying I shouldn't be streaming Red Dead at a time like this. He's not my friend. I barely speak to him. I'm worried. But there's nothing I can do. And it's Red Dead too. Sorry, but I'm streaming it no matter what. Three days later, Kimstar is tagging Etika and putting as much tension on him as possible. Retweet if you want an interview with Etika. And then people start giving him shit in the comments. Leave him alone. Give him some time to rest. Suck a dick. I run a news channel. I'm going to get my viewers the news. I don't give a fuck about your fake social justice warrior emotions on Twitter for attention. This really shows how Keemstar views Etika more as a commodity than a person. Keemstar's channel performance is way more important than the well-being of Etika. During one of his manic states, the police broke into his apartment. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm really scared. I'm really, really scared. I'm really, really scared right now. Look, can you see me? Okay, present. Okay. Alright. Okay. Glad you're not present, okay? Okay. Okay. Look, 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 look. okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Ow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And released him a couple hours later. Now, Keemstar was quick to scoop him up in his vulnerable state, the manic state he was in, and immediately put him on his show. So there you have it. That was the end of that. They took Etika to the mental hospital.
But only a few hours later, he was released. I jumped in his DMs and set up this interview. And let me just tell you, things got crazy, crazy. You should also notice the nice little meme he introduces him with that shows really truly how little he cares about Etika. Crazy. What's going on? It's me, the Antichrist. I've come to purge the planet of all human life. I will be dropping nuclear missiles very, very soon on every single human being. Death means nothing. Why are you all so scared of death for? It means absolutely zero in the interim. Why do you think I made Trump president? We're about to get some fireworks real soon. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Etika is on the line here. Now, Etika, when you say death means nothing, uh, are you uh, basically saying that life is a simulation? Is that what you're getting to? Yeah! Life is a video game. We're all in a video game, and I'm the one that's putting the pieces together. Everything that you've done in your life, Keemstar, was all leading up to this moment, to where you can broadcast the start of the beginning of the rise of the known Antichrist. I am the Antichrist. I am the one who brings death to all. Etika is clearly having delusions of grandeur and at the peak of a manic state. Keemstar has no concern for stopping this interview and getting him help. He's only interested in the spectacle of Etika. Etika has lost his mind! Of feeding into his delusions and broadcasting it to millions of people. Why, why, what is your purpose? What is the overall purpose oh. of the Antichrist? Stop repeating me the fucking... I said to purge all life! This is the absolute worst thing he could do for Etika. Loading him up with more attention and feeding into his manic state. He knew he would get lots of views, and he did, with great cost to Etika. The scariest thing about thinking that the world is a simulation and it's predestined and all that is then there's no reason yeah. to live. Why not? Why do you fear death? Keemstar's greatest moment comes when he asks Etika in a manic state, why doesn't he just jump off a cliff? If you really think about it, then why live? Just yeah. jump off a cliff. Yeah. Jump off a cliff. If, if it's just a simulation, who cares? Of course, hypothetical, but it is quite a coincidence when you consider that only 51 days later, that very same YouTuber jumped off a bridge to his death. A popular YouTube personality and gamer from Brooklyn is missing tonight, and a video post. Now we're gonna go on to the federal government. I pride myself on getting you the facts, but surely, with such incredible claims, a newsman like Camstar would have incredible evidence to back it up. I pride myself on getting this right. Otherwise, it would just be outright slander. Let's see what he's got. Payday 2's new H3H3 themed DLC sells for $4.99, which the developer Overkill will receive 0% of the cut. It's a matter of protecting IP, and his proof is get this one Kutaku article that says, quote, it's a matter of IP. Yes, that's his whole quote. He's going to go out to a million people and say, Ethan Klein is a liar and guilty of felony fraud because Kotaku said it's a matter of IP. It's a matter of protecting IP. Blah, 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 blah. They're giving them the money for the lawsuit. Bro, blah, 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 you're a news guy. You don't blah, blah, blah. You blah, 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 the whole article. Maybe you didn't blah, 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 article. You'd actually know that what you're saying is bullshit. Jifu apparently blah, 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 your whole history when they decided to sponsor you. Blah, 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 They're giving them the money for the lawsuit. Next time you watch Keep Star, remember what his research entails. Alright! It's blah, 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 blah. Now I'm assuming Keep Star wouldn't just make something like this up. I pride myself on getting you the facts. So let's give him the benefit of the doubt. And let's call someone who would actually know. So I called Al Visto, the global brand director for Starbury Studio. They made the game and he brokered the deal for us. Have you spoken to Keep Star? No. Okay. I'm not spoken to Keep Star. Oh, he didn't ask you. Well, did I commit fraud? Was that money meant for us? It was 100% meant for you and Lila, yeah. So I didn't commit fraud? <laughs> no. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because he was saying that I could no. like stole hundreds of thousands of dollars, but you're saying that's not true, and you're the guy that that set up the deal and did everything. So if anyone would know, it would be you, right? Not Keemstar. Yeah. It would be me, yeah. Yeah, it would be you. Okay, fantastic. Well. I feel much better. I feel like the FBI will be relieved to know that, and um, no fraud. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, man. Take care, dude. Take care. Every 
single day I get a death threat in the, uh, uh, on the email. Um, because I'm a pedophile. Go go fuck you. Go fuck yourself. Well, I mean, you know, whose fault do you think that is? Come on. The reason I showed you this is because he hasn't changed. He never changed. It only took him one year to turn on Tony. This is a man that purports to do the news, but goes out and calls a man a pedophile based on a picture. Or to accuse someone of a felony fraud with absolutely no evidence. I don't kill people like you do sometimes. You kill that old man by calling him a pedophile. A hateful, spiteful person that can't differentiate between personal vendetta and news. He's pissed off, man. This guy's mad at the world. He wields his audience like a weapon, striking at anyone that dares to criticize him. We need this dude's address. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up, and until next time, peace out.